Good morning. It is another beautiful day, uh, which means it's time to learn some things and have a little bit of fun. Welcome to the Facts of the Day. Today is National Rubber Eraser Day, for no discernible reason, which means that the people who investigate uh, the origins of national holidays couldn't find anything as to why or when or how this one started. It's also Take a Wild Guess Day, which was started in 2010 by a guy who decided that most people uh, guess on their income tax returns. The internet being what it is, people adopted this as a national holiday in 2017, despite, as I've mentioned previously, no evidence of a congressional order or a pre uh, presidential order to nationalize it officially. It's also That Sucks Day. Apparently started by a guy named Bruce Novotny, whose website thatsucks.com is a collection of everything that sucks. I haven't checked it out yet, but it sounds like it's worth a chuckle. That's it for national holidays today. On this day in 1729, Johann Sebastian Bach's St. Matthew Passion premiered in Leipzig. In 1755, Samuel Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language was published in London. In 1877, the first telephone was installed in Boston. In 1896, the first Summer Olympics finished in Athens. The United States won the uh, gold medal count with 11, and Greece won the overall medal count with 46. In 1912, of course, the RMS Titanic sank at 2.27 a.m. with a loss of around 1,600 people. And I'll never forget the line in the movie where uh, Kate Winslet... No, it's not Kate Winslet. Who is the actress? Is it Kate Winslet? Somebody message me and... Anyway, the girl says, the ship is sinking and there aren't enough boats. Half of the people on board are going to die. And Cal uh, says, not the better half. He was such a good bad guy in that movie. Anyway, that was the Titanic. So, uh, in 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first African American to play in United States Major League Baseball. And finally, in 1990, In Living Color premiered on Fox. And that's it for this day in history. Your word of the day is deflagrate, which is spelled D-E-F-L-A-G-R-A-T-E, -E, which means to burn rapidly with intense heat and sparks being given off. Uh, this word combines the Latin word flagrare, which means to burn, and the prefix D, D-E, which means down or away, so to... Burn down or away. Now you know a little bit of Latin, as well as another word in English. Here's some trivia for the day. Most deaths in a hospital are between the time of 4 p.m. and 6 p.m., the time when the human body is at its weakest. So if nothing else, don't work out during that time. Uh, but definitely go get up and move around if you're in the hospital during that time of day. I wonder if that would work. Anyway. Uh, in the United States, the error rate for doctors pres prescribing the wrong medicine for their patients uh, is 12%. So one in eight people are prescribed the wrong medication. I'm really not enjoying these little bits of trivia about doctors and hospitals. They're sucking all the confidence I have in our medical system. 50% uh, of women polled... Uh, said they would marry the same man again if allowed to do it over, which means, of course, that half of them said they wouldn't. Ugh. Uh, according to a major hotel chain, approximately the same number of men and women are locked out of their rooms. 32% are less than fully dressed. One-third of people who get locked out of their hotel rooms don't have all of their clothes on. Who walks out of a hotel room partially dressed? I don't even walk out my front door partially dressed. It's not to get the mail, not to do anything. Who walks out of a hotel room partially dressed? Unless they're trying to get caught. The mother, moving right along, the mother of all mothers, the largest number of children born to one woman is recorded at 69. From 1725 to 1765, so she was busy for 40 years, a Russian woman gave birth to 16 sets of twins, 7 sets of triplets, and four sets of quadruplets. All I can say is good for her. Hoover Dam's structural volume uh, surpasses the largest pyramid in Egypt, which took 20 years and 100,000 men to complete. It's amazing to consider some of the things that mankind has built in terms of sheer size. I'm sorry for the wobbling. I'm trying to get comfortable here with a landscape view with my phone, and it's not working very well. And I keep looking at the stop button instead of at the camera, so... Anyway, 
Uh, how about some strange but true facts? The name for the shape of a Pringle is a hyperbolic paraboloid. I think I'm going to use that as an insult. Next time someone uh, around me does something particularly foolish, I'll just say, you hyperbolic paraboloid, and watch their heads explode into candy. Good times. And now for a murder mystery riddle. Put yourself in Sherlock Holmes' shoes for a second and try this one out. One day the police found a man dead inside a hut. In his left hand, he's holding a gun. In his right hand, he uh, has a recording device. When the recording is played, the police hear the man talking about how horrible life is and how he wants it to end. The recording ends with a gunshot. The police are about to call it a suicide until you point out a very important clue. What is it? Did you get it? The recording ended with a gunshot. If he'd shot himself, he could not have turned the recorder off after the shot was fired. Murder most foul, my friends. Finally today, I want to leave you with something a little heartwarming. It's good news of the daytime. An English World War II veteran is raising money for hospital workers by walking laps in his garden. 99-year-old Tom Moore has been walking laps around his 82-foot-long garden in hopes of doing 100 laps by his 100th birthday, which is on April 30th. His daughter set up a fundraising page for him where you can donate money to NHS charities. He's raised over $3.3 million so far. That is awesome, beyond words, and my heart feels very warm indeed. That's it for the Facts of the Day, my friends. Join me again tomorrow for more, and until then... Have a fantastic day.